Good morning, fellow Kenyans. Today, I'm very proud to share a discussion about the youth. Um, when I was young, we used to hear our forefathers when they used to say that tomorrow we are taking care of our youth the leaders of tomorrow but this time the leaders of tomorrow was never uh, taken care of well the youth at the moment are suffering the country is defeated they are misusing resources they have not planned well for the youth they used to say the youth of tomorrow but what we are seeing now we are very disappointed in our parents because even if you look at the lioness she has to take care of her cubs until the cubs know how to hunt in africa education alone cannot help the youth the youth are out there in the wilderness all alone struggling with life not knowing what to do where to go or which way to go in the western world the leaders of the governments have ensured that the youth get something to do or they can earn a living. They have created 24-hour economies. They have created hourly jobs for the youth so that the youth can get at least something to do. In Africa and especially in Kenya, the youth have suffered. They have continued to suffer. Many youth are educated. Many youth are sitting down with bachelors, with masters, with PhDs, not knowing what to do with them. Many youth are marginalized. Yeah, and we are trying to ensure that we address this issue of the plight of the youth. But only we need leaders who can take care of the plight of youth and especially these youth who are marginalized. If government could use their resources well, there are so many resources that are being mismanaged, mishandled, and we are going to individual pockets. If all those wasted resources were used well, I think they can cater for the needs of the youth. For example, there are millions and millions of shillings which are not being directed into the right things. You hear leaders saying how they spend their millions salaries of leaders are high people are building their own wealth not knowing they are going to die and leave the wealth behind i want to urge our leaders that the youth have the numeric superiority of electing leaders. But we have to do it in the right process. Let us just think like the lioness and the cub. Parents. This is my question to you. 
the clever parents made sure their children went to very big jobs and they left them in better jobs. Bad parents who didn't have big jobs left their cubs to wander in the wilderness, not knowing what to do. But the question to the leaders is, how are you helping the youth? This time, the leaders of tomorrow has never come to Paris. And we don't know when it will ever come to Paris. People retain jobs even when they are old. If you look into government positions, people who are 50 and above, people who have been working for years in government, they have invested, they have opportunities, they have money, are still in government, the same population of the youth who are out. Government continue keeping them, not creating opportunities for the young people. While the young people are out here suffering, <clears throat> excuse me, it is really something that needs to be addressed by our leaders. What are you doing as a leader to help the future leaders of tomorrow? Because the same leaders we are talking about, they are our parents. But none of them is thinking about other leaders. We only think about our pockets. But we never think about our fellow or we never think about our young people. Many NGOs have come up to assist in uh, the plight of youth, but they are overwhelmed by the population. And many leaders who are elected in the NGOs also sometimes forget about their objectives, their visions, their missions, and start pocketing money. Let us think about the Western world. How do they manage their young people? Because as we continue the way we are continuing, the population of the young person is growing. And it is until the government will have a policy or will have their constitution right to take care of the young person, then in Kenya the young person is going to be to continue suffering in the same way. Until we have a leader who has at least a policy that will take care of the young person, then Kenya is still going to have a lot of problems. And that is why many a times we see cases of suicide cases of drug abuse. At the moment now, as we speak, many youth have resided into drugs simply because it is a way of not thinking about their problems. I have worked with many, many young people and I have seen it with my own eyes. Myself, I am a victim I have a bachelor's degree, I have a diploma, I have many certificates, and whenever I try to look for a job, it becomes a problem. I was never taught how to do business, I taught myself how to do business, but it was very difficult for me. That is why I'm giving out this. 
it has never been easy but i've always said what about that person who is not in a position to even try it is not easy for the young person and the people who are up there in bigger positions in government continue sleeping well they continue enjoying their monies forgetting that one day you come to die and leave all that here and god will always ask you one question you were a leader but you never did what i expected you to do because as leaders all leaders are responsible and they will be held responsible for not being able to cater for the young person of their nation why do we have members of parliament and why are they not taking care of this issue of the young person why is it so difficult why is it so difficult why is the western world ahead of us in terms of policy implementation policy creation we have learned people they have gone out there but they don't see they don't try it out you hear leaders swindling money roads water electricity all the parastatals leaders are just swindling money if that money would be directed to developing the young person then we would have a future a better future remember you as a leader you are only taking care of your child but you forget that this child of yours is going to live in the same society with these young people who have nothing it is the same society even if you educate your child over overseas or abroad they will come back to the nation and they will still mingle wherever in town or wherever they will still meet with this population that is not gaining from the government and you forget that it will still be a problem for your child so create a good environment by involving the entire nation then your child will live in a better nation but the nation that the leaders have they take their children to better schools they take their children overseas or abroad and they even want them to be employed outside the country it's not a good 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 notion for our kenyan leaders i am ashamed of you and i want you to go to parliament one of these fine days and decide let us change this country's population for the youth and let us do it once and once for all let us create jobs let us create a 24 hour economy for this young person so that is why the youth of today are even fearing to vote because they don't see the need they don't they are not being helped if leaders come and say i'm going to help the youth i'm going to help the youth and you are already a leader there is nothing you have done for the young person and you are saying if i am elected i will take care of the youth how you have to show by example you have been in government for 10 years you have no program for the youth we have not seen any evidence that you have supported the youth 
Don't lie to the youth. Marginalization of the youth has to stop by our leaders. Don't just come here and tell us that I will take care of the youth. I'm talking about the leaders of today. Because we really don't see what you're doing. If I was a leader and I want to be re-elected or something like that, I must show proof that I have been supporting the youth in my work. That I have programs running to ensure that in every, every, every constituency, there is a thousand youth that I am employing. And they are directly getting earning. Yeah? Just starting a program for employment of the youth is a problem to these leaders. And they have money. They can even use their salaries to pay these youth. No, 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 no. They don't do it. And they want to come in front of the youth that kind of marginalization for the youth has to stop. It is not right. God will really punish those who are not supporting the youth and they are talking about the youth. So, I will stop here and wait for my next production on this. Let us think about our young people myself I feel if I was a leader if I was given a chance I would start a program for the youth and strictly I remember in this country there was a ministry for youth but we don't see what they do even youth don't know there is a there is a ministry for youth Even the youth don't know they are minister. But government is very comfortable. We need programs for the youth. We need something that the youth can be proud of. Their nation. Not a few individuals but all inclusive my fellow young people take heart take heart i feel you i know what you're going through but we shall overcome let us put god first let us embrace anything that comes let us sleep hungry for the better of ourselves. Let us hustle, as they say. Let us do anything, but don't steal, don't involve yourself in things that will not help you as a person. Education alone will never, 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 never help the young person. As a parent, forget this issue of education will help my child. Your child will still go to the streets if you don't teach them how to fish. Don't just educate your child. Teach them also business. Teach them how to survive. Get them into jobs before you retire. And that does not mean buy jobs for them. Let them create jobs. I know my fellow people are listening to this and they are very upset and they know that I'm saying the truth. So let us take heart. One day, one time, we will get a leader who will be for us. One day, one time, a leader will come out to take care of your needs and my needs. Let us be vigilant, take care. We have the superiority 
the numeric superiority to take this country forward. Let us be united and one time we will win. Thank you very much and let us look forward for a better future. Thank you.